When I was a kid, I wanted to grow up and be a mascot for a professional sports team. Did somebody put you onto this because this is so embarrassing for me? Herzlich willkommen bei einer neuen Folge Inside the Team und wie ihr seht, eine ganz spezielle, denn wir haben das erste Mal zwei Gäste hier bei uns, Max DeLeo und Hündin Kaya. Welcome Max. Hey, thanks Thank for you. having me. Thank you for being here and do you know how many interviews you have done here in Germany so far? Oh, a lot. Okay, why don't we switch up to German this time? Okay, we can try. Max, das erste, was ich von dir wissen will, was war das für ein Dank in Bayreuth? Ja. Danke. Um, ja, das war ein Überraschung auch für mich. Um, ja, es mit der Stimmung und Ad Adrenalin in das Spiel ist um, mehr einfach als Training. <lacht> so, ja, yeah, das. Das ist besser, aber das ist nicht normal für mich. Ja, so. war, das, war das deine Bewerbung für den Dunk Contest? <lacht> Nein. No, I am the farthest thing from Dunk Contest. I do one time in warm-ups and that's it. But your teammates told us that uh, dunking is uh, very common for you. <lacht> I don't know. When I do dunk, I make sure everybody knows about it. That's the thing. That's what you do in Warm-up. Auch im, auch im Warm-up sieht man einige spektakuläre Aktionen von dir und man hört dich. Du bist sehr laut. You're pretty loud during Warm-up. Um, what's that about? Um, that started in college. Um, meine Trainer from Mammoth University. Sehr uh, big emphasis on mm -hmm. uh, being loud, creating energy and um, Yeah, and I wasn't playing much in the first few years I was there. And this was a way that I could help my team. And mm, thank you. And I brought it with me um, the whole way. So. Du bist um, mit Seth ja zusammen Kapitän uh, mm -hmm. bei uns. Um, bist du der lautere von beiden? Are you the more, more vocal one? I think I'm the more vocal one. But when Seth has something to say, everybody really listens because He's not talking all the time, you know. I'm always talking, so then when I say something, you know, maybe sometimes um, people think it's just something that I'm trying to say, like, hey, we need more energy. But when Seth steps up and says something like, we need more energy, everybody's like, okay, well, we better listen because he doesn't, he's not normally the one yelling, and so. Was it the same when you both played in uh, FECTA? Uh, in FECTA, we had Josh Young as our captain, and He, he was a great captain. He had the best of both worlds, you know. He was vocal when we needed him to, um, bringing energy every day. But at the same time, he knew how to change his tone. And when he had something to say that everybody needed to listen, um, he did a great job at that. And he was, you know, one of, one of the best captains that I've had. And I hope I learned a lot from him. You know, I, I try and do Captain things the way he, he does and he showed me. In der Saison bisher hatten wir einige Aufs und Ups. Um, wieso fehlt uns bisher die Konstanz? Was meinst du? We had some ups and downs in the yeah. season. Um, where's the consistency? Ich weiß nicht. Um, wir müssen besser uh, verteidigen. Um, aber jedes Spiel 14 Minuten und immer kämpfen. Aber Verteidigung, Defense isn't um, consistent with us. And this is something, this is part of our identity, and it's something that we need to, to change because maybe we don't score 90 points every game. So we need to always have good defense. That way, when the ball doesn't go in the rim for us, at least we can stop the opponent. Beständigkeit ist ein gutes Thema. Die letzten Jahre war dein Bruder TJ eines, eines der Gesichter der BBL. Um, dieses Jahr ist er nicht in Bonn. Yeah. Was macht er denn gerade eigentlich? Ja, er arbeitet mit den Philadelphia 76ers 
ähm, Player Development Coach. Und ja, ich, he has a fiance now. Um, Congratulations. Auch eine Hund. Ah. Shout out Moose. Um, but yeah, he's living together with his fiance and um, he, he wasn't, it was a very tough decision for him not to come back. <laughs> but in the end, you know, things are working out for him and, you know, I think it was the right decision for him. I think he would say the same thing. So, uh, you know, he just made a choice that he felt was right. He could have came back and played, but he wanted to move on and I'm, I'm glad it worked out for him. So. so would you say he ended playing basketball, ended his player career? Yeah, but he's playing a lot, you know, as a coach mm -hmm. with the Sixers, people coming back from injuries, he's working out with them, putting them through workouts and also jumping in four on four, um, three on three and, you know, being like a extra player when they need mm -hmm. and he does a good job. Guys, okay, sit, sit, hey, sit, sit, sit. Now wave to the camera. Wave. <laughs> wave. Okay, good enough. Lay down. Lay down. But right now you have another family member uh, here yeah. over in Germany for the first time. Um, how happy are you that uh, Kaya is with you? Oh, it's great. Um, especially with the corona situation um, coming from last season was a tough season for me mentally. And um, yeah, having somebody here with me is like awesome. You know, even I have a bad practice or I'm upset about something, I come home, you know, nobody's more excited to see me than <laughs> Kaya. And, you know, we bond a lot together. And come here, lay down. In our free time, I teach her a lot of tricks. Give me a paw, a spin, down, roll over. Good girl, protect. And yeah, it's, she keeps me busy, that's for sure. But, you know, some good things, some bad things. I go for a nice walk every morning. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of that helps with recovery. You know, it stops me from coming back from practice and playing video games all day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she's, it's, you know, having the responsibility of her also makes me more responsible about my life and You know, I think that's very important. She's taught me a lot, you know, um, just about life and caring for something else. Um, yeah, and it's, you know, she's really cute and it's hard even when like uh, she won't go to bed or she's being bad, you know, it's always something to laugh about and yeah, always, always willing to listen to all my problems and yeah, she's great. Be I to see it? Um, on the 26th of February, Tsvayara. Tsvayara. Yeah, so still a baby. The first uh, yeah. two years, one and a half years, she uh, stayed in the U.S.? Yeah, so, um, I, yeah, when I got her, she was two months old. And this was the season that ended early with uh, mm -hmm. co Corona. So I had her until I came back to Hamburg. And because Corona was still a very big issue, um, she wasn't able to fly over with me because mm -hmm. the airlines cut down on staff and their, uh, some of their functions to, you know, limit the exposure of people. So that was tough for me, but my parents, you know, they did a really great job. My brother um, and his fiance, Shannon, they did a great job helping out. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and now, now my parents miss her, I think, more <laughs> than me. Yeah, I know my dad was never really a dog person, but you know how it goes when you have mm -hmm. a dog. He would send me text messages. He would, he would measure her vertical on the tree uh -huh. in our backyard, <laughs> see how high <laughs> she could jump. <laughs> but yeah, she's, she definitely found her spot in all of our hearts and our family, so. Wir haben euch beide schon in der Arena gesehen. Ihr habt ein Fotoshooting zu Weihnachten gemacht. Yeah. Um, und ihr seid hier immer in Wilhelmsburg im Inselpark unterwegs. Yeah. Um, hat sie einen Lieblingsplatz hier in Hamburg? Ja, yeah. I mean, 
das, diese Inselparkes ah, normales uh, Laufen mm -hmm. Area sit lay down lay down and um, so this is normal for us we love it um, there's a dog park that I go to I'm not sure what part it's um, it's a little bit south of Hamburg, a little outside of the city, mm -hmm. but it's great. It has obstacles, and I think that maybe is her favorite place. And also, when we go on a long road trip, I take her to a dog hotel. Mm -hmm. um, it's outside of Hamburg, but <laughs> I think that's her favorite place. She gets to play with a lot of dogs and dig holes and come back all dirty. So, yeah. But and I, anywhere we go together is great. Except the skate park, she hates scooters. <laughs> she goes crazy, and, and there are a lot of. There are a lot, and you know, I did some training with her to try and get her used to it, and she did good. And winter came, no mm -hmm. scooters around, and then now the weather a little bit nicer. We see some more, and she's reacting again, but that's okay. She'll she'll get over it. She's just trying to protect me. Also macht einen Bogen um Kaya, wenn ihr gerade mit eurem Roller da vorbeifahrt, dann tut ihr ja auch was Gutes. Mm -hmm. And is there a favorite trick you taught her? Favorite trick? I'm working on one now. We haven't got it down yet. Get your ball. Cook her. Cook her. Okay, get buckets. Yeah, good girl. Good job. Eine weitere Frage habe ich noch, die ich dir unbedingt stellen muss. Wir hatten einen Fragebogen vor der Saison ausgeteilt und haben dich gefragt, was du gerne werden wolltest, als du noch ein Kind warst. The job you would have done when being a child. <laughs> Who asked this? We did that in the question. Yeah, yeah. Um, Und deine Antwort war? When I was a kid, I wanted to grow up and be a mascot for a professional sports team. <laughs> did somebody put you onto this? Because this is so embarrassing for me. Um, but yeah, um, growing up, my dad was working with the 76ers and their mascot at the time was hip hop, like a mm -hmm. rabbit. And I would go on the court with him and wear little bunny ears and throw stuff to the fans and even the, the indoor soccer team in Philadelphia. I would, their mascot was a kangaroo. I had a little kangaroo costume, went on the field with him one time. So yeah, maybe not, I wasn't really shooting for the stars with that, but you know, I guess professional basketball players like The next level, if I can't be a mascot. Hast du einen Lieblingsmaskottchen in der BBL? In the BBL? Hmm, I don't know. I really did like Rasta, their Rastafarian line, that was funny. But in the BBL now, oh, I don't know. The Krellsheim, Marilyn is funny looking. The hat. The, the hat, yeah. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is a little silly, but you know, I, I like it. It's, so it's far, we don't have a mascot here in, in, in Hamburg. What do you think would be the best fit as a mascot? Kaya? Kaya? Kaya would be good. She would come on the court and foul everybody, though. But yeah, I know. Um, for Hamburg? Oh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Maybe something Wilhelmsburg specific would be cool. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't know. I mean, the tower, you can't. <laughs> Towers would be tough to be a mascot, but maybe it'd be something funny like the, the hat from Krausheim. <laughs> And then we can have Kaya as an uh, airbot. Yeah, but she's, <laughs> she's behaving much better than I thought she would. <laughs> yeah, eine Frage noch. What? What about the mullet? Will you grow it or not? Oh, no, I think that's gone, at least for, <laughs> at least for a while. Um, You know, all good things must come to an end. But yeah, once I got rid of it, it life's just easier now, you know? It's, yeah, I can, I can wake up, get out of bed and be, be ready to go with the mullet. It, oh, it would take hours to get that ready for a game. <laughs> also, die Frage müssen wir leider verneinen. Max wird sein Fokuhila nicht mehr wachsen lassen. <laughs> um, und ähm, mit dieser traurigen Nachricht müssen wir die Folge Insider Team jetzt beenden. Thank you, Max. Thank you. You want to see some tricks? Sit. Kaya. Live. Good girl. Yes.